It takes a planet to explore the universe, so let's explore together with 10 trivia questions on space. Let's get it. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the show. We have a fun one planned today, a theme that was selected by Harriet Hunt, and she wanted to dedicate it to her favorite NASA flight controller, Nathan Kopka. So thank you, Harriet and Nathan, for being fans of the show and reaching out and choosing a topic. Quick reminder before we jump in today that our fan appreciation event starts tomorrow, Leap Day, and will last till March 15th. There will be a new episode released every day, so be sure to check in and check Check out those episodes. With that said, let's get into Harriet and Nathan's episode on space. Question number one, formerly known as the ninth planet from the sun, what astronomical object was demoted in 2006 to the newly created category of dwarf planet? Formerly known as the ninth planet from the sun, what astronomical object was demoted in 2006 to the newly created category of dwarf planet? Number two, who was the first person on the moon? Who was the first person on the moon? Question three, what is the smallest planet within our solar system and also the closest one to the sun? What is the smallest planet within our solar system and also the closest one to the sun? Number four, what name has been given to the theory that the universe was created when a small, dense object blew up and expanded? What name has been given to the theory that the universe was created when a small dense object blew up and expanded? Question number five, what is the name of the astronomical event that occurs when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow? What is the name of the astronomical event that occurs when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow? Number six, also known as the morning star and the evening star, what is the hottest planet in our solar system? Also known as the morning star and the evening star, what is the hottest planet in our solar system? Question number seven, taking place in December 1972, what was the last crewed mission to the moon? Taking place in December 1972, what was the last crewed mission to the moon? Our eighth question on space, what planet has the most moons? What planet has the most moons? Question number nine, if you like it, then you should put a ring on it could be the slogan for what four ringed planets. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it could be the slogan for what four ringed planets. And finally, question 10, what are the four intermediate phases of the moon? What are the four intermediate phases of the moon? Hopefully you didn't get lost in space and you're able to join us for the answers right after this. We are back and getting into our answers on space. Number one, formerly known as the ninth planet from the sun, what astronomical object was demoted in 2006 to the newly created category of dwarf planet? That former planet would be Pluto. Pluto. Question number two, who was the first person on the moon? 
The first man to step on the moon would be Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Number three, what is the smallest planet within our solar system and also the closest one to the sun? That tiny but mighty planet would be Mercury. Mercury. Question number four, what name has been given to the theory that the universe was created when a small dense object blew up and expanded? It shares its name with a hit CBS sitcom. It is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory. Number five, what is the name of the astronomical event that occurs when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow? When the moon moves into the Earth's shadow, it is a lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse. Question number six, also known as the morning star and the evening star, what is the hottest planet in our solar system? That hot, hot planet would be Venus. Venus, with an average surface temperature of about 232 degrees Fahrenheit, has the thickest atmosphere among all planets, and that atmosphere traps in that heat. Number seven, taking place in December 1972, what was the last crewed mission to the moon? That last mission with a crew on board would be Apollo 17. Apollo 17. Question number eight, what planet has the most moons? This planet has 95 officially recognized moons. It is Jupiter, Jupiter. Number nine, if you like it, then you should put a ring on it. Could be the slogan for what four ringed planets? I'm not sure Beyonce had these planets in mind when she wrote that song, but these planets that have rings on them are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And finally, number 10, what are the four intermediate phases of the moon? Those phases are waxing crescent, waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, and waning crescent. Waxing crescent, waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, and waning crescent. Don't forget our big fan appreciation event starts tomorrow. We have a Thursday episode and a Saturday and Sunday, so make sure to check those out. Hit that follow button so you don't miss a single one. Once again, I want to give a big thank you to Harriet Hunt for reaching out and dedicating an episode to her favorite NASA flight controller, Nathan Kopka. And I guess he's my favorite NASA flight controller too now, since he's the only one I know. So shout out to Nathan, shout out to Harriet. If you want to be like Harriet and dedicate an episode to a friend, check out the show notes on how you could go about doing that. All right, until next time, let's remember to be kind to each other. Peace. Peace.